hi and welcome to my channel this is Shelly's everyday prepping adventures I'm here to show you how I'm dehydrating um, uh, in a previous video I showed you that I picked up some mixed vegetables to throw in my dehydrator and that's exactly what I'm doing this morning I'm throwing them in my dehydrator um, okay so I got the dehydrator ready I, I buy I bought these to line the dehydrator um, because the vegetables will fall down in between them. So that's what that's for. So I put that there. I open up my bag of mixed vegetables. And then I'm going to spread them around. Okay, take my hand and just kind of spread them out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to add my next tier and my next. Okay, and then I'm going to add more. Okay, and I'm going to spread those out. Try not to get them down in the center hole there because I just, oh, I did it. Okay, and then I'm adding my next and final tier. Okay, and then the last of my next vegetables are going in here. Okay, so. Spread them out. All right, and then I'm going to put the lid on the dehydrator. Okay, and I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. And it's on. Okay. Now this is going to take. I'm going to say probably eight hours to um, to dehydrate. But when they're done, I'll put them in a sanitized. A jar, a canning jar, and this is what they look like. Okay, I put what it is and the date that I dried them on it. Okay, and also the other day I did a video on um, onions, peppers, celery. It's a mix, um, and this is what they turned out to look like. I put them in the dehydrator, and that's that. I used them, um, used some of them the other day on a roast that I had thrown in the crock pot. I topped it with about a half a cup of those. The smell was delicious. It tasted amazing. So that's, uh, dehydrating is pretty simple. Um, I picked this dehydrator up at Walmart um, and I needed another one. So I picked, picked this one up as well. So I have two dehydrators and both of them are gonna be going today because I just feel the urgency to get my frozen vegetables out of the freezer and into a self shelf stable state so that I have more room for meats. Okay? So, yeah, I think I paid like $40, $45 for each of these. It really isn't bad. Um, in the long run, I think figure it's going to save me some money. So, yeah, there it is. Thank you for, um, thank you for listening to my channel. This is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you, and have a blessed day.